Hello. We saw torrential thundery showers yesterday. Some places saw over an inch of rain falling in just one hour. Thankfully today, the showers won't be focused in the same areas, but there will still be some torrential downpours, particularly through more eastern areas of the country. We will start, though, with showers already across northern areas of England and for southern areas of Scotland. If you start with the brightness and the sunshine, I think make the most of it because showers will be fairly widespread through the day. More western areas potentially having a drier, brighter prospect. For Northern Ireland, a reasonably fine start, just a few showers here later. The far north of Scotland getting away with a fine start and actually staying largely dry through the course of the day. But for eastern and particularly southern areas of Scotland, the showers will be there from the word go. They'll turn heavier, more persistent as we head through the day. And this brings the risk of some localised flooding. Showers across the northwest of England initially, they will track their way eastwards. East Anglia and the southeast of England, again, a reasonably fine, sunny start, but I wouldn't rule out the risk of some showers developing through the day. Weymouth there, turning pretty windy, gusty winds and showers driving through there. And for southwest England, a fine start, the risk though of some showers later in the day. Now, at the Olympic Stadium, a lot of action happening. We've got the men's 400 metres final, the 400 hurdles, the women's steeplechase. Throughout the day, there's always a risk of showers, more especially late morning and early afternoon. That's because the heat will gather, the shower clouds will build, transferring their way eastwards. Through central and eastern areas of England, heavy showers, brighter conditions in the west, thankfully. I think northeast England, southeast Scotland, the focus for the torrential downpours, and that is where we see the risk of some localised flooding. Through the evening hours, the showers will soon fade away, turning much drier, but with light winds. Again, we could see some mist and fog developing. Overnight lows, typically 12 to 14 degrees. Tuesday starts with some brightness, but you can see just lurking out to the west is a weather front. It's going to bring cloud and rain to southwestern areas of the UK, more northern areas as our low clears away, actually having a much better day on Tuesday. Potentially on Tuesday, the far north of Scotland with some showers, but elsewhere the showers not as heavy as we'll see on Monday. From the southwest, though, the skies will grey over and we'll see some outbreaks of rain. That wet weather will push its way through on Wednesday, and then the outlook is for drier, brighter and warmer conditions to develop.